ministers, uh, uh, MPPs, um, merci pour l'occasion de donner le point de vue de la ville d'Ottawa. To give Thank you. Good afternoon. So uh, thank you again, the Minister, for the opportunity to speak to you today. My name is JF Champagne. I am the president of the Automotive Industries Association of Canada. We're also known as AI Canada, and we are the, uh, the National Industry Association for the Automotive Aftermarket, the uh, often forgotten other half of Ontario's auto sector. Uh, we represent people who manufacture replacement parts, the wholesalers, distributors, and retailers. Uh, that also includes the likes of Canadian Tire or uh, auto repair shops and service centers like uh, Napa Auto Pro, uh, Fix Auto, or uh, Mr. Lou. Our members are in each and every riding in Ontario, and we employ over 131,000 people in the province. We are an essential service, and during the pandemic, we've made sure that Ontarians' cars were well-maintained and safe to use, while also keeping uh, our employees safe. And I'd like to take the opportunity to uh, thank the government for its effort to prioritize safety and health but also balancing the need to keep our economy moving uh, over the past year. We know that significant investment will be needed to stabilize and then stimulate Ontario's economy uh, post-COVID. And uh, we believe that the objective of stimulus should be to, with an eye to building an economy that is tomorrow ready. We believe this is equally true when considering how to best support Ontario's automotive sector, including the aftermarket. So recommendations first uh, is to support job training and job creation. Uh, and for that, we encourage the government to provide programs for the automotive aftermarket to upskill and increase our employees' ability to service electric, connected, and autonomous vehicle. You know, the automotive industries is going through a technological revolution. And as vehicle technology advances, so too must be the skills of those who repair and service them. Our second recommendation is to encourage the government to continue pursuing reforms on auto insurance by targeting fraud and property damage. And one way to address this is by certifying collision repair shops. Auto repairs are becoming more costly and we need to ensure they are being done correctly the first time. Regulations and certifications of auto repair marketplace would improve customer safety, lower costs for auto insurance industry, and also reduce fraud. So to conclude, the Ontario's automotive industry is more than auto manufacturing. And while your government has recently focused on policies which support car makers, those policies ignore the other half of this important industry. The automotive aftermarket should not be an afterthought. We are small businesses in every riding in Ontario, and we encourage your government to keep that in mind when building automotive policies for the next budget. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for your presentation, Mr. Champagne. We're going to go back to Mark, who's uh, joined us once again. So, Mark, uh, 